All right. Shalom Akim. Call Halal Yom La. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Baha Racha Kodash. Double honor to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutation to you, brothers out there in the four corners laboring in this truth. And to the elect. All right. Pushing with our righteousness and sincerity. All right. Shalom. Yeah, man. There's the brother Chai Hai here. Coming back at y'all with another video, man. Just through the spirit. And I um I just want to go into um acknowledging your offenses so that you can obtain mercy from the Lord, man. Okay, from Yahabashim Yahawasha. All right, because against Yahabashim Yahusha, have we sinned and uh, and transgressed the law, statutes, and commandments, man? Okay. So who better to start off with than our forefather King David, who who did commit sin, but did acknowledge his uh transgressions, man, and repented. And was still seeking the Lord's heart, man. And that's what we got to do, man. All right, so what what better man to start off with than uh, than King David, man? Really, all of our forefathers, man. You know, but this is just on me through the spirit, man. So um, may this be edifying to brothers. Let's get it. This is the book of Psalms. It's like it is the book of Psalms, chapter 51. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. When Nathan the prophet came out to him after he had gone to Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. So let me go back to verse 1. It says, Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh. All right, so let's go into that word mercy right quick. All right. It says, um, H 2603, Hanan. Well, that word in, uh, in the paleo is, is, um, uh, chasad. Okay. It says to be gracious, show favor, pity, to show favor, be gracious, to be pity, make gracious, make favorable, um, to direct favor, to have mercy on, to be shown favor. Okay. And so on and so forth. So that's, um, that's that's Yahabash, that's King David asking Yahabashim Yahshua to have mercy on him, you know, to be pitiful unto him because what, man? King David went off, man, just like all of our, all, all, really all of our forefathers, just like we going off because we are forefathers coming back through the spirit, okay? So we begging the Lord for mercy, man, all right? Because Yahabah, it really, because the scriptures say what? It repented Yahweh to make man, but the Lord always found favor in um uh, 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 one person's eyes, man, who was later on made Israelites, okay? The Lord always found favor and had mercy upon uh, at least at least one person, man, okay? It says, um, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy love and kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Let's go into that word multitude. It says, H7230, multitude, abundance, greatness, multitude, abundance, numerous, greatness, Okay, and that's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem because the Lord is is merciful, man. All right, because the way these these guys out here look at the Most High Yahweh Hashem he's like this 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 merciless dog, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth, man. But that's not our Lord and Savior, man. All right, that's not our power, man. Yahweh Hashem had mercy on the whole nation of Israel, and the whole nation of Israel went off. Okay, and we went off by not following the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right, we sinned against the Lord, okay? So King David is asking the Lord for mercy and forgiveness um, uh, according to the multitude of his mercies from the past, man, okay? Yahweh Shemasha always had mercy on the nation of Israel, man, all right? Even though we should have been destroyed again, it repented the Lord to make man, all right? Because, hey, man, really, we we just wicked, all right? But the Lord chose Israel, whom he would abundant transgressions, man. All right, and that's what David is begging for, for his transgressions to be blotted out. All right, acknowledge your, your offenses, man. Verse two, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Yeah, man, uh, we asking the Lord to uh, to wash us from our sins and iniquity because again, man, we in this flesh, we go off all the time. So we begging the Lord to put the spirit on us to, to repent and wash us from our iniquity, man. All right, Yahabah Shemasha always has um, um, mercy and finds favor upon anybody who acknowledges their, uh, their transgressions. Let me go into that. Verse 3, it says, For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. And that's plain, man. 
Okay? We acknowledge that we went off in front of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the Lord uh, 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 is having mercy on Israel. Okay? Through the elect. All right? Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Well, through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who was sent down to die for the nation of Israel. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai seen everything that's going on, but Yahweh Shai also see that the elect is, uh, is, is repenting. All right? We're trying to come back to the Lord. You know, again, Lord willing, we those men start with the men of great millstone, our elders and our apostles who rule well. Okay. It says, for I acknowledge my transgressions. Let's go into that word um, acknowledge right quick. It says to know. It says uh, to perceive and see, find out and discern, to discriminate, distinguish, to know by experience. All right. So, uh, so like it, to recognize, admit, acknowledge, confess. Okay. So we confess and we, we recognize our transgressions. Against the Habashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And Lord willing, I'm going to get some scriptures going into that too, man. Because again, man, we went, we went off. All right. We uh, we recognize that we went off, man. Okay. You got a lot of Jake, uh, Jake's out here who just say, oh, I ain't do nothing wrong. I don't know why the Lord would do this to us and so on and so forth. But Jake doesn't understand that, hey, man, we, we were a sinful and rebellious house, man. Okay. And we got to, we got to, we got to, um, uh, bear the indignation of the Lord, as the scriptures say. Lord willing, I'll get that. But let me get verse 4, and I'll, I'll proceed on. It says, Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. All right, so ain't no reason to, you know what I'm saying, get upset when the Lord judge you, because what, man? We The whole nation of Israel went off, and when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's judging with the law, Okay. Because the scriptures say what? We all must sit in the um sit before the judgment of Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shah the uh um um matter of fact, let me just go ahead and get it. I believe it's uh in first Peter four and uh seventeen, I believe it is. Yep, kind. This is the book of first Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end of so like it? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? All right, so the time is coming that judgment is beginning at the house of uh, of Yahweh. Who's the house of Yahweh? Who's the house of God? Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to the scriptures, man. All right, so judgment is coming upon all of us, man. All right, and Yahweh Shemashah will render unto every man uh, their works, man, good or bad. As the scriptures say, okay, so judgment is beginning at all of us, all right. It says, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Yeah, man, what's gonna be the end of uh, the guys that don't obey Yahweh? Shimi Yahweh shall, all right, utterly, hey, just ultimate death, man, okay. And if they Jake, they're gonna come back through the uh, through the seat of the elect, all right. Yeah, well, that was the point right there, man. So let me um, let me go back to Psalms fifty-one and four. This says, "Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest." So when the Lord come back to judge with the law, man, he's gonna he's gonna uh, uh, be totally righteous, man. Okay, he's gonna be right about everything he says, man. All right, because the law is pure, man. So the law. Uh, so the Lord, how about Shema Sha? Everything He say, uh, is is gonna have a reason behind it. Okay, the Lord is gonna have an excellent reason for judging you. All right, He's gonna be clear when He judge, man, because that's the spirit of the Lord. Okay, so let me get this. Um, this just staying in the Old Testament for a little bit. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter three. I think it's verse thirteen. It says, um, yep, con Jeremiah 3 and 13. It says, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Yeah, man, you, you got to acknowledge, all right, which means to recognize, discern, all right, our iniquities, man, okay? And this is Jeremiah speaking to you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Who was um out there with him at the time, man? And this, hey, and this, this, this is uh, uh going on today, man. Jake don't want to acknowledge his transgressions, man. Jake don't want to acknowledge that he sinned against the Lord, okay? 
But it's saying what? Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. Yeah, man, because what Jake did was we committed um, a spiritual adultery, okay? We, we committed spiritual fornication. We went off and married into the heathen, okay? Adopted their customs. We trying to show them our customs and so on and so forth, all right? We teaching them our ways, and it's really this whole chapter is going into that, you know, but I just wanted to get the point uh, through the spirit, man, okay? So we got to acknowledge our iniquities and transgressions, man, because that's that's a, a righteous thing where you have Bashim Yahweh so that way the Lord can have mercy on you, okay? We didn't obey his voice. What was his voice? The prophets and the law, man, okay? We didn't hearken unto it. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. That's why the curses fell upon us. Verse 14, it says, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Okay? And that Hebrew word uh, for Zion is to Zion, which means monument, man. All right, what's the monument of Yahabashim al Shah? Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so the Lord is telling you to turn, O backslider. Let's go to uh, that word backslider right quick, man. H77 and 26. It says backsliding, back turning, apostate, recusant. Okay. It says um Strong's definition, that is idolatrous, backsliding, forwardly, turn away. All right, and that's what Jake did, man. Jake turned away from Yahabashim Yahweh Shah. All right, that that he doesn't observe all of his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. So that was the point right there. Let me um Slack you. Let me, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, let me get this. All right. Because when Yahabah Shemasha says, turn, turn, O Bashlot in Israel, turn away from your wickedness, acknowledge your transgressions. That's Yahabah Shemasha, have mercy on your simple asses, man. On all of our simple asses. Okay. Because again, man, we, we all wicked trying to uh, seek repentance from the Lord, man. We're trying to, we try, we want the Lord to have mercy on us, man, for being wicked. Okay, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 11. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. Okay, so the Lord is full of compassion, man. All right, and this whole chapter right here is going into um, having faith in Yahweh Shem Al It's a beautiful chapter if brothers didn't read it. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, okay, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. So if you're going through something, man, no matter what it is, just throw up some prayers, beg the Lord for forgiveness because what you sin, man. All right. And the Lord will forgive you. OK, according to his promise to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the Lord is going to forgive you, man. The Lord will have compassion on you. But you have to acknowledge your transgressions, man. You got to acknowledge that you sinned against the Lord. All right. Because what Jake do, man, Jake, um, Jake get in that bitch nigga spirit of defending himself. Oh, I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing. And so on and so forth, man. You you look, man. If you in the, if you so called uh if you you so call yourself in the truth and you can't acknowledge that you you did something wrong to you, how about Shim Al Shah? Yeah, you gotta come out of that spirit, man. All right? Because that's that's a real whole ass spirit to have, man, so to speak. Okay? The Lord is uh full of compassion and mercy, man. So if you just say, Lord, I'm a sinner, I did wrong, the Lord, hey, the Lord finds that acceptable. All right. All the men in Great Millstone, we a man. Lord, when we be the elect, man, we acknowledge that we sinned against the Lord, man. All right, we're sending our past life and shit. We send in this life. We still going off by being even in this flesh, man. Full of wickedness. But guess what? Yahweh Shema Asha is having mercy on the elect. Okay, that's why we're able to be out here, Lord, when we those men. That's why we're able to be out here, you know what I'm saying? Pushing the truth, pushing these videos, prophesying. Okay, so that way we can be saved in our time of affliction. All right. We're supposed to be begging for mercy, man. So let me get this in the book of Micah. All right. And I, I did a video on this uh, through the spirit just last week talking about bearing the indignation of the Lord, man. All right. Because uh, Micah, he was talking about this too, man. OK. It says um, Micah 7 and 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. And execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light 
and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this in the um in a my sword Bible. Micah seven nine. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. All right, so again, man, we, we got to bear this indignation, man, okay? Uh, H 53 and 75, this is going into the word bear. It says, to lift, bear up, carry, take, to lift, lift up, carry, support, sustain, endure. Uh-oh, endure, okay? we Hey, your call. That goes back to the Hebrew word, your call, man. Endure, man, to just, to just bear it, man, just deal with it. All right, so we got to bear the anger of Yahweh Hashem Shah, the righteous anger. Let's go into indignation right quick, man. It says rage, raging, storming, indignation. Okay? Hey, man, Yahweh Hashem Shah is full of wrath because Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans sinned against him. Okay? The Lord didn't bring judgment upon us yet. Well, he, well, he did by way of curses, but he's coming back with another judgment, man. And that judgment is going to be by fire, which is the nuclear missiles that's coming to America, man. Okay, the hour of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, that's the hour of temptation, man. All right, where, where Esau, the so-called uh, white man, is going to be able to flex his sword, man, his blessing upon the whole world, really. Okay? But everything that we're going through right now, man, it's us bearing the indignation of the Lord, man. All right, the reason why our women is out of order, children, household out of order. All right, the reason why we're eating our defiled bread. Okay, the reason why we got to uh, pay uh, bills, rent, okay, and deal with our heathens, uh, de well, not our heathens, well, it's, they are ours, but you get the point, deal with the heathens uh, being against us, man, okay, all of that is a part of the curses, okay, we got to bear the wrath of Yahweh Hashem HaShah until uh, uh, he come back and plead our cause, man, all right, because again, we, we seeking mercy, you know, and you have Hashem Hashem is full of mercy, man. Just acknowledge your offense. Come back to the Lord. Okay? I got some more stuff up here. Um, Let me get this in the book of Luke. This is um, one of my favorite... One of my favorite um chapters. Just going into the... Um, I think it starts at 7. Let me see. Yeah, Luke... 18 and um, 10, Salakia. All right, going into the, uh, that Pharisee and a publican, man. Okay, we're about to tell who's who through the Spirit. All right, so this is the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 10. It says, two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Okay, and a Pharisee is basically a man of the church, man. All right? It says, uh, a sect that seems to have started after the Jewish exile, Pharisees recognized the oral tradition a standard of belief in life. They sought for distinction and praise by outward observing of external rites and by outward uh, forms of piety, such as ceremonial washings, fastings, pray, uh, prayers, and alms. Okay, so this, a Pharisee is basically a man of the church, long story short, okay? A man of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh and it says the other publican. It says a renter or farmer of taxes among the Romans, usually a man, of equestrian rank, a tax gatherer, collector of taxes and tolls. Okay, so this is a tax collector, man. All right, and back in in, in um in ancient times, uh, uh uh everybody hated those tax collectors, man. Even now, man. All right, we because we got tax collectors and so on and so forth, man. Nobody likes those guys. All right, but let's see what the scriptures say. It says the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee. That I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Okay, so this is hey, this is the Pharisee basically talking shit, man. All right, talking shit about that publican man. All right, and the Pharisee is thinking the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that he's not as other men are. All right, so let's hey, let's let's see what else goes on. It says I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of all that I possess, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh, be merciful unto me, a sinner. Okay? Hey, and let's go back up a little bit. All right, so from the Pharisee just talking shit, just basically being proud, okay? Not worrying about himself. 
talking about that he's uh he thanked the lord that he's not as other men are with the elect we acknowledge that we still can be as other men are because we know that the lord can do whatever the hell he wants to us man and it'll be righteous in doing so all right so this pharisee is uh, uh he goes into um uh not even as being as his publican again somebody that just everybody hates that tax collector that everybody hates okay he's thinking the lord that he's not as the publican man all right just being proud as hell you know, then he uh, goes on boasting about how he brags. I mean, he he uh, he uh, fasts twice in a week. He gives tithes and so on and so forth. Hey, man, the man of the Lord is not fucking doing this, man. All right, we can still get jet way, man. We 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 still in a position of two thirds. Why? Because we all Israelites, man. Okay, the only, the only thing that separates the two thirds from the the one third and the elect, man, is that the elect will be seeking your habashim and shot, man. We're not boasting and bragging. Okay, we don't boast about keeping the law. Okay, like these other guys is, man. I-U-I-C-G-O-C-C -C, and the rest of these guys, man. Okay? We're not boasting to the...